as hell. <laughs> Good morning troops, welcome to the channel. Today we've got a slightly different travel. We're currently in the British Airways Lounge, Glasgow Airport, waiting to board a flight to Heathrow, which is not our final destination today. I am heading to Las Vegas. I know I'm sitting here myself just now, but I do have people here with me. And we are heading for something very, very special. And you watch what Punisher cut it online. But we've heard of Alex and Moses. We're heading to acquisition.com this Thursday and Friday. It is Wednesday. Still traveling to get to America in time. We're heading to acquisition.com for two days for an event all about paid traffic, scaling sales team. Also, yeah. it's in one of the best cities in the world, Las Vegas. So, hopefully, we'll be able to show you some of the hotels, the cars, the restaurants, different places that um, I go to when I'm over there. It's the place I've been to the most in the world. Um, so, I tend to find I know it pretty well now. But we've got a long travel ahead of us, so stick around for the journey and I'll see you when we get stateside. Eventually, made it to American Lake. Sean, say hello to the camera. Just made it. Just made it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just made it in time. And Alexa as well. Say hello Alexa. Not hello. Get on the time. Um, so for clarity, Sean is my business partner, Paul's the sales team director. Alexa is Paul's wife. Then we've also got our media buyer and manager, who is heavily pregnant and somewhere else on this plate. In fact, she's just over there, I can see it. Um, so we had a nightmare, we got off the flight, they set for we buy as well, you know, it was late, and then they said the flight was closing. And then I got on an earlier shuttle bus, so I sprinted here, and then we held the gate open, and then they let us in. And, but we're here now. It was meant to be Glasgow, London, London, Vegas. But now we have to go via Phoenix, which isn't too bad. It's like a 40 minute flight from Vegas. So we'll hopefully be in McCarran Airport in Las Vegas for around about 6 30. So I'll update you if we crash at night. So that's me here, eventually. Las Vegas, McCarran. It used to be called Harry Reid. I prefer the name Harry Reid to be honest, but um, yeah, well here I'm at a different hotel from everyone else, so I'm going to be heading myself just now to go and get an Uber, this is going to be like six minutes away, um, to head to my hotel. I'm going to show you the room quickly, it's a little bit late, not super late, but it's late enough, it's like maybe 7.30 just now, I get to my room, drop my bags, show you guys the room quickly, I'm staying at the Strat this time, um, Never stayed there before. It's not like a five star, but it looks really good. I've seen a lot of good reviews on it, so excited to see what it's like. Don't even know what type of room I booked, to be honest. Uh, and then myself and Sean, we're going to go and get some food. Um, so I'll probably bring the camera along with me tonight as well before the event tomorrow. So I think I might have made a strategic error with this hotel. Now, not so much with the room for a second. Let me just. The room is totally fine like not much of a view but it's really modern really clean bathroom's nice all marble and stuff shower i don't really like baths or whatever anyway but here's why well i didn't realize how far out it was i didn't really look into that and everything in vegas is so close to one another but this hotel is like 10 minutes from everything that's going on you can just get ubers it's fine and i'm only here for a couple of days but and by the way, the casino floor, I'll show you in a moment when, when I go back down, um, looks really good. Uh, it's really modern and whatnot, but just a touch too far out for me. But really good price, like, so can't complain that much. Nice little American Dr. Pepper that I requested as a drink on the flight. Never drank, tactically. Now it's time to go and get something to eat and meet up with Sean. I've changed, now swap the Glen Torn top out for Atletico de Madrid. Now I'm here on the casino floor. I see it's not super busy, but it's very modern. They've got a really nice sports book over there, which is just like a where well, you place football bets and that. Time to go and get Sean and we need to get something to eat because I'm absolutely starving. We're going to be getting an early night. Myself and Sean enjoying just one beer. Pretty good, that's good. That's good. That's good. Let's go get a burger. <laughs> so I slept like a baby last night. Got to sleep around 11 p.m. Had my one beer with Sean. A nice McDonald's. Guess where I'm going just now? McDonald's. Oh, how? Do you know what? 
regardless of where you are in the world, we see those golden arches. Sam just feels good about it. It's about seven in the morning just now. Been up since half five with the jet lag, but I slept really well until that point. So I'm going to hit McDonald's to get myself a McGriddle. If you've not had one, don't know. Get to know the walls, Beaver. Um, that is my advice to you. Come to America, get a McGriddle. Change your life. And then I am going to walk to acquisition.com. He's cute. It's one of the coolest things about this industry, right? Is that people, you can watch someone for years, get so much value from them for free, like on YouTube and stuff, be a massive fan of them and the work, and then be able to come to an event like this and learn from them, meet them in real life and stuff like that. That's just so cool. Obviously, the barrier to entry is money, but I think for what? I think this event was like $5,000, $4,000. I, I can't really remember exactly how much it was, but um, it, it wasn't like exorbitantly expensive. So uh, when you bring a couple of people or whatever, like it may get more expensive, but I think for what you get, um, it's really not bad. And it's so cool as well. There's music blaring in the street. That's the funny thing about Vegas that we're not even anywhere mad just now. But um, he's playing through a street side. Oh, like. Says day one, done. Here, acquisition.com, HQ. Obviously can't film it. As you can imagine, I don't let anybody film my events. But day one has been very good. Hopefully I have more time when I go back to the hotel to report in a bit more detail. It's about as smart as you'll ever see me dressed. I thought I would make a little bit of an effort today. So day one, the scaling workshop. Very different from what I expected. Um, when I spoke to the team, you know, I, I said my kind of main focus was going to be like um, paid ads. How we're scaling our own paid ads. And scaling of a sales team. That's kind of what I, what I thought the event was about. So naturally I tell Paul, who's my business partner, and he sent some of his team along with me as well and some of the team that we both use, ads managers and stuff. So we're only halfway through um, and from my perspective, it's really good for me. Nothing on those topics though. So it may end up having been a... Uh, net zero bringing those people with us um at worst it's a free trip to vegas for them um some nice dinners and stuff planned so it's not like the end of the world for them and nothing ventured nothing gained like i said this workshop's never run before so maybe it was super intensive on paid ads before and then they got some feedback that it was a bit too much and then um, they've changed it slightly so that that might be the idea i'm hoping we get some more stuff like that tomorrow i've written down a bunch of questions there's not many q a opportunities because they're flying through content I made a little consultancy offer thing today as well that that seems pretty good um what else i'm trying to think of Lo loads of stuff i'm planning on doing a lot more consulting for equity over the next you know two years um so loads of stuff for me to consider in terms of how i value other people's businesses literally financially value them and um, so that's stuff that would be handy for me Honestly, I think the best part of the day for me was watching the offer structure. It was really interesting and um, really enjoyed that. But enough about that stuff. We've got STK tonight. Um, myself, Sean, Alexna. So that'll be that'll be fun. Show you what we're eating. And I'm absolutely starving. I'm starving. So I need to get a taxi to the Cosmopolitan and go and order some dinner. See you soon. So, day two. Um... And from the, the mouth of her nosy, tactics today. Um, Alexa, that my business partner's wife is with us, tagged Alex in something last night, just saying, oh, day one was great, you know, and all this kind of stuff. And he responded to her saying, wow, day one's good, but day two is all tactics. So I'm very excited for today. We had such a, I was going to show you guys STK last night, but we didn't go to STK because the service at STK was so unbelievably shite. Went there, table wasn't ready for half an hour. Then they took us to some bar stools to try and be like, oh, this is where you're having your dinner on a table that was like this size. And I was like, no, no way, because the place is expensive. It was the only three of us went for dinner, but it'd probably still been like a thousand dollars or so. Um, and I was like, I'm not paying that to sit here and wait half an hour to do so. So they, oh, no problem. We'll get you another table. In 20 minutes? I was like, no. That means I've been waiting like almost an hour. I can't do that. And the girl was just so angry. I think it's because SDK has a kind of clubby vibe to it. So 
they employ like reasonably pretty, objectively pretty girls, um, hoping that you know it's just parties of drunk guys that end up tipping really large. So they probably get really used to not having to give any good service because they're like young and pretty. So guys who just tip them for their own ego, like thinking like, oh yeah, I'll tip them and they'll really respect me, idiots. But um, I walked out and. We went to a place next door, I can't even remember what it was called, but it was amazing, and the service was great. Miguel, if you ever see this, which you won't because you don't have a clue who I am, that food was great. I was so pissed off with um, STK that I didn't even pull my camera out or anything. So, it's time, what time is it? It's a little bit later, start today, um, because I stayed up a little bit later last night, so half seven just now. I'm not going to walk, I walked yesterday from here down to um, theacquisition.com HQ. I'm going to get an Uber today. Um, so let's go downstairs, get an Uber, get a McGriddle again, or maybe I'll get a biscuit this morning, I'm not sure, biscuit not being what we think it is in the UK, then let's get into acquisition.com HQ for day two. So we don't muck about with breakfasts in Vegas, never muck about, look at this thing, oh my goodness, three eggs, prime steak, hash browns, bacon, avocado, tomatoes, Sean on the same. Alex, that on, that's like for kids Alex, and that's what you order for your daughters. Aislinn taking the very British approach to a ham and cheese omelette, which some will argue is French, but I think it's an institution in Britain. You do have a sweet tooth, but you also order bacon with it. But it's sweet bacon. This is some, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this, but I'm going to give it a damn good try. Yes. Just shoot it off. We don't count that. Nice and tight. When you're ready, you're going to go. And then you just 
Yeah, yeah. Pump it back all the way, push forward all the way. Uh, it's like it's like a it's like a dance, so it's like Swap three helpful guns in Scotland every single day of the week. Every single day. Good news, camera lasted on one battery all the time and it's still got plenty of battery. Bad news is, I'm currently in the lounge at the airport. Let me give you an idea before I tell you about what I've done on my day. You obviously have seen me shooting and stuff, there was some other stuff in there. I'll give you an idea of what my previous travel itinerary was Las Vegas to Gatwick, Gatwick to Glasgow. Be home by 12 lunchtime. Now, my flight is Vegas to Heathrow. This is after arguing with him to give me this. Vegas to Heathrow in six hours. Then Glasgow, then Heathrow to Glasgow. And I get home at around about 8 pm. So, eight hours later than expected. And that's just pretty always for you. It's been a, I'm trying to say calm this Easter, Easter Sunday, I went to church in America for the first time ever, which was um, really cool. But in fact, I don't think I've been in a church anywhere outside of the UK ever in my life. Um, oh yeah, I can't be bothered, it's been here for all this time. I was hoping we're going to have them British charge of things, we could charge my Mac book fast and they don't. So it's just, oh, it's an annoying thing about tra the more you travel, the more you experience delays on average. It makes you feel like every single time you travel it just delays, delays, delays. Just want to get home. I've got so much stuff in that event, you know, I want to want to put into practice. I'll maybe do a video on the top things I learned from that event. Um that may be that may be fun. So back in Scotland now, with the team, with the trips. Uh BA delayed me by over nine hours they left my bag in America. My suitcase is now back here been delivered to the office. So BA Spin on that, right? Not happy with that. <laughs> you just sit and say, <laughs> just laughing like that. Um, and that concludes yet another trip. Um, I think I feel like I'm becoming a travel blogger now. But um, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like down below. I'm going to be dropping a video very soon. Well, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I learned from Homozy and his team over those two days. It was absolutely fantastic. Very different from what I expected, but huge value nonetheless. So thank you for watching. Peace.